What do we have here? What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Nuke1949, man. Fresh unloading for my gig. Unloading the trunk. Life of Rookie DJ, season two, episode two. Um, I will see y'all a little bit later. I got a gig, black and white ball for a family member. I'm an hour and a half early this time, unlike my last video. So I've been taking my own tips and I hope you're taking some of my tips too. I'll see you later on for part two of this video, and um, hopefully you guys get something out of that. Shibuya Peace. Nuke 1949, once again, it's probably going to be a little loud, but it's a DJ setup. Got a live saxophonist, sax man. Got my photographer over there. Well, photographer partner, not my photographer. And this is my DJ setup. I don't know if I've ever showed up this while at an event. You know, I got my flyer up there to advertise. Got business cards. Not a huge, huge arena, but big enough. Something nice, something simple. Got my speakers in nice distance apart, whatever. Over an hour early to this one. Um, I always want to show up early, like I said in a few videos ago, to make sure, sorry, to make sure everything's working. And as you can probably hear, everything is working, or probably as you can hear. So, I'll let y'all know how it goes afterwards. What up, it's your boy DJ Rob Will, Complete Vision Entertainment. Another reason why you show up early. We got the sax man actually hooked in to me, and it all works together. I got four channels on my new Mark IV track, so I got my two decks here. We got the mic here. And we got his laptop there. And I still have my laptop connected via USB. And I still have my two decks of control here. And everything is coming through my two lovely Electro Voice 15 inch speakers. So that's another reason why you want to make sure you show up early, man. Because you never know. I mean, he has his own equipment as well. But I was like, hey, it's easier if we just integrate everything all into one. So bam, there you go. <laughs> All right, so reflection for the black and white ball, which is what that event was. Um, as you heard me say throughout the video, I showed up extra early. Um, that was very, very important because I actually ran into a couple of not huge issues, but small things like, you know, where I was supposed to be set up, um, number of electrical sockets. Then, of course, you want to have time to set up your equipment and run through your tests and make sure everything's working. Um, and another chance to talk to <clears throat> whoever is over the event in case there's any last minute changes and my aunt happened to be over it There were no last minute changes on the music you just heard in the video the jazz is basically what I played um, We had the live saxophonist. He played live And we had a photographer um, and the reason why I titled the video the way I did is because We actually partnered up a little bit because I showed up early and he showed up early. Um, he had a speaker and he had a microphone and stuff like that. Well, I already had all those things. I was already set up, excuse me. And he was like, hey, you know, do you think we can link up? We'll have to worry about plugs and things like that. So I actually learned something new. Um, he just hooked his laptop into the auxiliary, auxiliary cord of my new Mark IV track. My awesome, lovely, beautiful new Mark IV track. You can probably see it over there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but um, he plugged into the auxiliary cord and he was able to play his music through my speakers, uh, whatever track he wanted to play along with, um, with his saxophone. And he also used my microphone so that his saxophone could be heard throughout the entire area we were performing in. So it was a great learning experience and um, I was glad that I was able to show up early enough to make that adaptment and that adjustment because we had a we had a, a good area where we were set up with, but we only had two plugs and then I would have had to unplug stuff and he would have had to set up and he only had one speaker. So there would have been like a real huge difference in the sound quality. So it just made things easier. That's just, you know, a little rookie DJ tip, a little learning experience. Um, Sorry for the late video. I've been very, very busy and actually already have the next episode I'm working on. I just did a wedding about uh, two weeks ago. 
So that video will be coming very soon. Interesting stuff there. And we know as DJs, weddings can make or break you or they can make or break your entire reputation. So you'll find out more about that in the next episode. Until then, keep spinning. Um, like it, like my channel. Please hit that like button, subscribe, leave comments. I would love some more feedback. I would love some more interaction from you, my viewers. And thank you for all the love and support as usual. Also, check out Thumb Thrasher Gaming. That's my gaming page. I've separated some things. So I have my DJ and my music stuff on this page, which is the Complete Vision Entertainment, my LLC. That's this page that you're on now. Then I have Thumb Thrasher Gaming, which is uh, my gaming page. And also check out New Gaming Order. Um, those are some great guys over there. I work with them as well. We do a lot of video game journalism, gameplay videos, and just, you know, honest, raw opinions about the gaming industry. So there's a lot going on, and we've been very, very busy. I know I've been very, very busy. So um, thank you for the continued support. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you enjoy the next one even more. Until then, next time, peace.